In this series, I'm starting over as a broke level 1 player with the goal of becoming a GTA Online veteran. But in order to do so, I'll have to complete every objective on this list while having a limit of 2 hours a day to play. So with that being said, welcome back to another episode of Rags to Riches 2 hour edition. Today, I'm going to be completing the new Cluck and Bell farm raid that was just released here into GTA Online. And hopefully this Rags to Riches episode can serve as a solo guide for all of you guys as well. So as always, we're going to start the timer. There you go. Two hours on the clock. I already got the call from Vincent. We have to head over to this yellow V here on the map and we'll get things started. Okay, here we go. We're going to go through the cutscene of Slush Fund and then get into the mission itself. And there is our boy Vincent who will be taking us through the entire process. Okay, so the cutscene just ended and we're going to have to go to two different money laundering locations to take cash from them okay we've arrived here at location a and i've already broke stealth so we're just got to go in guns blazing okay let's get into the money laundering business all right there should be someone there's two people down here good we got one we got number two and now we're going to have to steal the cash there you go stole the cash from both washing machines let's go to the next location it looks like the enemies are going to be following us to each location so it would help to have something like the duke of death or any kind of armored vehicle if you're doing this as well. Okay, we are here at location number two and they're already shooting at us. All right, take out both of them in here and now we can steal the cash. Okay, that is the last stack of cash. Now I guess we just head back to Vincent. Okay, and we've arrived here at Vincent's lockup. I assume this is gonna be the location that we come to after every single setup. And there you go, that is a mission done. I don't think the payout's gonna be great and I don't think there's, there's much of a difference between normal or hard mode payout. Okay, we didn't even get any money. Never mind. Okay, we we just got the next call from Vincent. Now we could go back over to the yellow V on the map and start up the next setup. Okay, so we are back here. And as you can see, we have all the setups and then the finale shown here. We have breaking and entering, concealed weapons, hit and run, disorganized crime, and scene of the crime. So let's start up setup number two. Okay, so we're gonna have to go get a laptop and then head over to a terabyte and hack it. So I'm gonna go to the laptop first. I guess you could choose either or it says go to terabyte or laptop, but I think the best way is to do the laptop first and then terabyte. Okay, so I'm here at the pier and I was given a image here of the hacker that we're looking for. Hopefully I could find him here in a minute or so. Okay, I finally located the laptop. It is right next to this guy playing the game and he's not going to chase me. Perfect. Okay, now we can head over to the terabyte. Okay, so we have arrived here at the location of the terabyte. And it looks like it's going to be somewhere in an alley. So I'm going to have to search for it. But once again, hopefully it does not take too long. Okay, so I don't know if it's going to be the same thing for every one of these uh, missions. But this is the exact location where I found the terabyte. Now we're going to have to hack it. But first, we have a couple drones we got to take out here. There you go. Is that going to be it? Or do we have more? We got more. Okay, what's new? Holy... That one came from my head. And there you go. That's it. Now we could enter the terabyte. We just have to steal the hacking device here. And now we have to head over to the cartel's compound. Okay, we've arrived here at the compound. And it looks like there's already security here. Can we take them out? Like, can we do the stealth? No. No, we cannot. Okay, well, that was my question answered pretty quickly. Let's just take out all the cartel members. I'm going to do this entire thing in my Duke of Death if I can, because that way I'm just protected more. Okay, so the train key was dropped on the ground. We now got to collect it. There you go. And now we could head over here to steal the train. Now we could just drive the train away, escape with the train. So we have accelerate, we have brake, and then we could shoot as well. I gotta say it's pretty cool that we're able to drive it. I assume this is not gonna become something we could do just in free roam, but for a mission, I'll take it. And on the way, we're gonna have to hack it. You can see they're hacking cooldown. There is a helicopter here, and we, wow. Just, <laughs> just completely destroyed them. We're essentially what the train has always been to us, the unstoppable, immovable train. We, we now have that power. And we just entered a cutscene. I assume this is going to be the end of the mission. Yep. Okay. Not too bad. Do we get any money for it this time? No, we do not. That's fine. Okay, let's start up setup mission number three. And I'm once again going to do it on normal mode. Okay, so we have three different weapon and gear locations. And I was mistaken before. It is not dependent on whether you're doing it on normal mode or hard mode. It is actually the different location you go to. So there's three different locations with each giving you a different level of equipment and gear. So location A will obviously give you the worst. Location B will give you the second best. And location C will give you the absolute best. And from what I could see or from what I've seen so far online, location B, the second best, is perfectly suffice. Okay, so we are here at the beach. Location B is on a yacht, so we're going to have to drive out to it. 
take out all the enemies, get our gear, and take off. Okay, so I got the weapons here. It's going to be on the bottom floor of the yacht itself. You could get to this location by just coming through the back here. Now we're gonna have to go up to the next level, I believe. Okay, we got the bag of gear here. There you go. Now we have to deliver it to Vincent's lockup. And there you go. That is setup mission number three done. We've selected our gear. We should be all good to go. Mission passed. Once again, we're not going to get any monies. And let's move on to mission number four. And now it's time for mission number four. Once again, for this mission, we have three different locations. These are three different getaway vehicles that we could have for the finale, as the previous mission was different weapons loadouts for the finale. Target A, I don't think is going to be good enough. Target B looks like an armored vehicle, which is decent. Target C has a cargo bob and a full convoy. You could shoot down the cargo bob and get the vehicle from what I've seen, but I'm probably going to go for target B because I do think it's going to be a good enough car. Okay, so we've reached the location. Now we have to find and steal the getaway vehicle. Okay, the vehicle is always going to be over here on the left side. Right there, good. And now we can start taking it out on all the enemies. Once again, I'm going to use my Duke of Death here to make it a lot easier. Okay, I'm sneaking through this area here. Okay, they, holy, how many guys are there? That's crazy. I'm making a run for it. I'm grabbing the getaway car. And now I have no clue how I'm going to get out of here, to be honest. How do you even leave this area? Oh, you have to jump it. Okay, hold on. So I first have to move this truck back here. Good. Clear the way for the ramp. And then I have to get back into the getaway car. Okay, stop shooting me, please, bro. Okay, this should be good enough. Yes, it is take him out and now we could drive to the garage there you go and that should be the end of the setup mission there you go mission passed let's move on to mission number five okay let's start up the final setup okay we first have to go over to the cluck and bell outlet okay so we have to hack all of the cartels vans in order to find the garage that we are looking for so we're gonna have to get into close proximity and hack them we're putting on our high beams here too i don't know how discreet this really is but whatever i guess it's not discreet because they want to shoot me yeah Okay, cool. Well, it wasn't there, so now we gotta go find the other van. Okay, here's van number two. We're just gonna follow... Th okay, just brake checking me on the freeway, brother. Come on. There you go. We've hacked both vans. I assume we're gonna get a location now. Yep, there you go. Okay, let's head over to the cartel's garage. Okay, we've arrived here at the garage. We'll go in with the combat MG. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so we have to sabotage the cartel's delivery trucks. Now, it looks like we could go and through all of this doing... We could do it all completely stealth nope nope oh man i broke stealth that was not the plan okay well you know what it is what it is we'll just take out everybody in here okay i've sabotaged truck number one sabotaged truck number two there goes truck number three and finally truck number four now because i did not do it stealth we now have to go in and take out all witnesses so i guess we have to go through the entire facility and take out everybody okay so we just got the drill and now we have to drill into the lockers and find a key card. Okay, so we've taken out everybody. Now we could drill into the lockers over here. Okay, we just got the key card, but I think we could get more money out of all the lockers. Okay, so I got all the money out of all the lockers. Let's now get out of here. Okay, so on the top left, you can see the Cluck and Bell factory will be on high alert for the raid. The CCT CCTV footage was not wiped. The witnesses were not taken out in time. So I literally just botched that entire setup which is going to make the heist finale so much harder. So if you guys are doing that, going stealth is very important. And I guess wiping the CCTV footage is really important as well, which I didn't even know I was supposed to do, to be honest. So I guess I completely missed that, but it is what it is. Okay, it is now time to start up the finale, and I'm not sure what the difference in payout is going to be. I believe the payout is the same no matter what. So we're going to go in on normal mode. Let's see what happens here. Hopefully we could get through it to really smooth and easy. Okay, so because I broke my stealth, I'm not able to sneak into the actual farm itself. Okay, so this is going to be considerably harder than just doing everything stealth. To be honest, this might actually be a little bit easier. Okay, that is the last guy here in the center. Okay, so we now have to get inside this room and loot some cocaine. Okay, we took out all the guards. Now I got to take all the cocaine. There you go. We have all the cocaine from this room. Now we got to move on to the next. Okay, we're going to insert the key card into the keypad there. And we're going to go into the next coke storage area. Okay, we got a crowbar from here. And now we have to open up every single one of these cluck and bell crates to get all the cocaine. Okay, we finally got all the cocaine. Now we could leave this area and we have to go get the final part 
of the heist. Okay, we got the key here to the office. We just gotta pick it up and we're gonna die, aren't we? No? Okay, now we gotta head over here to the office and unlock the office. And now we have to hack the office computer. So now that that's done, we're good to go. Now we have to use a hacking device, okay. That's not the hacking device, there you go. So this is a little bit harder with constant guards coming onto you. But now that we have the hacking device, all we have to do is go close to these computers here. There you go, that is safe code one acquired. The next safe code is gonna be right there. And I actually just got the entire safe code. Perfect. So now all we have to do is go back to the office here. 635466. There you go. We enter the safe code. We've finally got the last bit of stuff we need from the safe. And now we just have to exit. Now, unfortunately, because we did not do the stealth, it is going to be a nightmare out there. But hopefully we could get away relatively easily. And it's not going to be easy, is it? No, it's going to be brutal. Okay, I'm making a run for it. We need to get over to the garage where our getaway vehicle is. Hopefully we could get there in time, but there's no guarantee. Okay, we somehow got to the garage. And now all I have to do is get to Vincent's lockup. But the easiest way to do it, because we're going to be swarmed with cops, is to go along the railroad tracks here until we get closer to Los Santos. Okay, the tracks split off here, so I'm going to head to the right and keep heading towards Los Santos. Although first, I'm going to try to lose the cops here in the windmill farm. There you go. Now we could just drop it off at Vincent's lockup. And there you go. There is the end of the finale. So I got to say, overall, even though I broke stealth and I went in not in the stealth approach, it felt very reminiscent of the Union Depository contract. It wasn't too difficult if you, I didn't really re-up on the snacks, but if you just had enough snacks and you went through there taking out every single enemy possible, it's really not that difficult. And especially when leaving the Cluck and Bell farm, which I thought would be the hardest part, there were barely any cops. You could get away pretty easily, get to your getaway vehicle, and then drive away. So honestly... I've seen people do it stealth, I just did it not stealth, and I don't really think there's that much of a change in difficulty, although if you want to be as simple as possible, the stealth approach is definitely the easiest, since you're not getting into a huge firefight. But the thing I am curious about is if our payout's gonna change because I didn't do it stealth. So I've seen other people get 500,000 for the finale, and then 250k as a first time bonus, but we're gonna see here whether it's going to be the same. I assume it's going to be, but you never know. So here is the moment of truth. We made, yep, yeah, 500,000. So regardless of stealth or not doing it stealth, you're gonna make the same amount of money. But the question is, do we still get the, I guess it's the first time bonus, so we should get it. And there you go, we got 250,000 as a first time bonus. So yeah, we got the exact same amount of money, even though I butchered the heist a little bit or butchered the entire raid. And we just got another $100,000. I'm not sure what that's from, but I wanted to say overall, the heist is decent, I would say. It wasn't as exciting of a finale as I expected it to be, but at the end of the day, we know they're getting ready for GTA 6. So they're putting more time into that, so that is fine. But it is a decent way to make money now. 500k, the only issue is how long it takes. So I don't know if repeating it, it'll be even faster, but... 500k for what that took us an hour and 40 minutes even though i did mess some things up so maybe at the fastest you could do it in an hour and a half to me it's not worth it when comparing it to the dr dre contract which can be done once again in an hour and a half but pays out 1.1 million so i think the crucial thing we're gonna have to find out is how long is the cooldown if it's an hour that's okay if it's longer than that it's gonna be that's crazy i think but if we can do this or find a way to do it more efficiently and get the setups and the finale done in like an hour maybe, then I think it'll be worth it. But if it's still going to take an hour and a half every single time, you might as well just do the Dr. Dre contract at that point. But regardless, it is still a ton of fun. That was a great heist. I'm not going to do anything in the final 15 minutes of this episode. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. We will check that off as another heist done in the GTA Online checklist. And hopefully, despite me messing it up, this did serve as some sort of guide. The only thing that you would do differently if you want to do it stealth is when you're doing the final setup, make sure you go through and take out each guard completely stealth. I messed that up and that's why the finale was different. But with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.